What is up? This is Clinton Harris coming out of San Diego, California. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm super excited, super pumped up to share a couple things with you guys today that could shift your life in the right direction that you really want it to be, could shift your business in the right direction of which you want it to be. So I'm going to talk about you know my experience in this industry. This industry has completely changed my life, and that sounds kind of corny, maybe a little cheesy, but it has. Money is really no longer an issue in the next few months, it's, it's never going to be an issue ever, ever again. And not only that, but in the next 12 months, I'm going to be able to retire my father. Um, so if, if you're watching this and you've ever wanted to take care of your parents, give back to them, maybe that's why you decided a certain career field because you thought it would do something for them. But here's an opportunity for you to give back. Here's an opportunity for you to be part of something bigger than yourself. Here's an opportunity for you to partner with people who are like-minded who want to do big things just like you. So uh, my, my, my experience in this industry is very simple. In my first nine weeks involved in this industry, I was able to qualify for 2013 BMW. So I don't know if you guys are out there today. Maybe you're you know, 18, 19, 20, 20 22. But uh, being at the age of 20 when I was, uh, getting qualified for a BMW while I was active duty military, active duty Navy out here in San Diego, uh, it's a big, big deal. Never would I have ever thought, you know, going from Kansas, <laughs> uh, driving a, uh, a Chevy pickup to now driving a BMW, a super luxurious car that we don't even have in Wichita, Kansas. Um, so with that being said, anybody can do this. Anybody can partner with companies and, and make this make this a fortune for them. Anybody can help a lot of people, have a lot of fun. Anybody can, but not everybody will. So if you're watching this right now, maybe you're one of the few. Maybe you're one of the few that, that you decide that you want to do something bigger. You want to give back. You want to help a lot of people. You want to become very, very successful, make a lot, a lot of money, and travel the world. Be able to live uh, instead of survive. Be able to have a lifestyle instead of just a life. Be able to um, be your own person, be your own boss, and be be considered self-employed, and go on that venture, um, and really, you know, get out there and uh, and make something of your life. Maybe if that's you, awesome. If not, no big deal. But continue to watch this video. Hopefully, you gain a little bit of knowledge. So, with that being said, a bit, a couple, a couple pointers that I'm going to point on today um, is your list. When you guys get started in, in any kind of business, any kind of affiliate marketing company, you need to have a list, a tangible list of everyone you know, everyone you know, Facebook, your phone book, whether they're there or not, anybody and everybody, you have, you were friends with elementary school, middle school, high school, college, if you're there, if not, whatever, uh, people you know in the military, people that are older than you, your friends, your family, everyone that you know needs to be on paper, not in your head, not, not in your phone. Right, not your phone. They need to be on paper, on paper, and you just you need to realize there's a couple of things that you want to be looking for when you're when you're sorting through your list. <clears throat> you need to know why people are going to be a, want to be a part of this thing. You need to know, and the way you find out is asking simple questions. Simple questions like, hey, what do you do for work? F O R M, family, occupation, recreation, motivation. What do you do for work? How's the family? Right? What do you do for fun and, and what motivates you out of life? You ask those simple questions. And you don't want to sound like a robot. You want to keep it genuine, keep it real because this is a people building business. We build people. People build business. Right? Jim Rohn. Uh, you, want to, you want to be able to build uh, relationships. And for you to build relationships, you have to have knowledge. For you to have that knowledge, you have to gain information. The only way you gain information is by asking questions. So you have to ask the right questions. Right? Ask the right questions. How's your family? What do your parents do? Maybe they're losing the house. Maybe their parents have gotten you know, evicted. Maybe their parents are, getting, are losing their jobs. Maybe, the, maybe their car just got towed. Maybe whatever. Maybe they lost their own job. Maybe they got kicked out of school. Maybe they dropped out of school because they can't afford it. You need to ask the right questions. And not only that, but you have to ask the, the reasoning behind that. Some people, you know, I'm going to college. For what? To get a degree. In what? Uh, engineering. Why? <laughs> Because that's what I was taught to do or because I want to make a lot of money. There's always a reason behind someone doing something. So you have to find that core reason. Once you find it, right, you want to go through this thing. It's called pre-qualification. Hey, you know how the other day uh, you said you had lost your job, uh, Bob? Yes. Um, well, look, man, I'm working with a guy. You never make yourself the issue. You're the messenger, not the message. I'm working with a guy who's helping people uh, make part-time income at $1,500 a month. Um, would you be interested? Or you know how you you know you you're a connector. You're supposed to connect people. You're supposed to link people from what they want or, or what uh, what they desire to how to get it. Because obviously people now today their their whole thing is you know I'm gonna go to school to get what I want. That's not true, right? Fifty three percent of all college graduates in the year of 2012 did not have a job after they graduated. And, and some of them that did have jobs, people that did have jobs after they graduated, were working under what they thought they were gonna be making. Right? So some people think they're going to be making the six-figure income, and, and it turns out they're working minimum wage. And they have a degree 
and now they're backed up in student loan debt. So you have to ask the real questions. Get down to the nitty gritty, right? Find out why they would want to do this. Hit that. Connect them from from what they want or what they don't have, that, and connect them to how to find it, how to get it. And basically, you're you're doing that. It's called third party credibility, right? Third party credibility. Your friends they trust you, but they don't necessarily respect you. And some people are watching this and they're like, "My friends respect me." And and let's be honest, probably not in a business standpoint. So you have to use third party credibility. If I'm working with, uh, with one, if I'm a multi-millionaire, I'm going to be like, look, I'm working with this, this guy who's doing amazing things. He's considered a legend in the industry. He's, helping, so he's helped hundreds of thousands of people you know, get out of their part-time jobs or make an extra thousand dollars a month. Would you be interested in just checking it out? No commitment, just checking it out. Keep an open mind. People are almost always going to say yes. Who would turn down a thousand dollars a month extra? And if they say no, then guess what? They're off your list. It's fine. Or, you, you know, you scratch their name off. Right, because you don't want to waste time. Some people in this industry, our 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 our, uh, our age demographic, we tend to waste too much time uh, wanting, begging, convincing people that that don't even want to do it to do it. it. Takes three weeks for them to say no, and then you're like, I just wasted three weeks. Be smart, be intelligent, build it fast, but build it intelligently. So it's all about the numbers. You have to have the bigger the list, the bigger the business. So you have to go through the numbers. Spend you know five to ten minutes with each person. All right, you, you can rate them on, on ambition, on passion, on influence, and on leadership, and a couple other things that you think, maybe discipline, whatever you want at a business partner, because you're, you're not only just going into business for yourself, but you're not going by yourself. You're going to have a group of people that are working together cohesively as an organization. So you want to build this with people who, one, uh, trust and respect maybe is there, right? They have ambition, they lead, like I said, leadership, passion, but if they have nothing like that there, then you don't really want to waste your time with that person. You can show them the opportunity, but um, you know, go go talk to people who are ambitious, who want to do something. The dreamers, the people who are like, I want to be somebody. I want to do something big with my life. Those are the people that not only on your list but on someone else's list. If you don't talk to them, someone else will. So that being said, in all of this process, you have to understand the word edification. Right? Edification is very big. Invitation and edification are two of the biggest concepts in this entire industry right here, right now. So if I was talking to my good friend, Mr. Kylan Noel, who I help currently, you know, he, he, 11 weeks into this business, he was able to qualify for 2013 Mercedes-Benz while still active duty Marine Corps, United States military. This gentleman, right, when I first met him, he didn't know about the business. And, you know, we said a couple things, and I, <laughs> I was like, it's a pool party. But now today, knowing what I know, I'm going to invite him basically like this. Mr. Kylan Noel. You ever thought about making a couple of extra thousand dollars a month and he's going to be like, yes, yeah, something like that, or yes, um, or now, you know, I know that he wants to retire his grandma and his mom, get them brand new houses and, and get them brand new cars. And I'm like, look, Kylan, you know, um, you said you were serious about, you know, getting your mom into a nice home or a nice car, right? He said he's going to say yes. I'm going to say very simply, on a scale from 1 to 10, how serious were you? He's going to say probably 10, most people say 10. He is qualifying himself. He is selling himself to me. I'm not convincing or begging him at all. He's the one selling himself to me. I'm going to say, okay, Kylan, look, on a scale from 1 to 10, how ambitious are you? 10. On a scale from 1 to 10, how passionate are you about whatever it is that you do? 10. All right, on a scale from 1 to 10, where do you see yourself in the past as a leader or in the future as a leader? 10. Awesome. And, and on a scale from 1 to 10, on an influence about your friends, meaning if you call you know, 20 of your friends and you're like, hey, let's go to the movies, you know, how many of them would show up? 15. Okay, that means you're a 7. Look, bro, I'm working on a big project. I, I actually just got introduced to it by some very, very, very successful people. They actually help people get into brand new homes and brand new cars. They help people leave their part-time jobs. They help people make about an extra thousand to fifteen hundred to maybe even two grand on top of whatever they're doing um, a month. Uh, would you be interested? Because you said you were ten. All these things I just asked you. Would you still be interested in, in, in hearing from them? How serious would you be, you know, in hearing from them? And he's going to say, I'm very serious. Oh, I'm super serious. And he's, now he's selling himself to me. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, look, this is what you need to do. Not I want you, I need you, can you. This is you need to do this. If you want this, you got to do this. <laughs> There's no such thing as something for nothing in life, in business, in general. You can't have something for nothing. So you need to show up here. You need to get on a call with me at this time. You need to make yourself free around 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh -huh, right? um, you need to do this. You need to do it. I need, look, bro, we got to make it happen. Right? If you're super, super serious, I'm super serious about helping you. Right? You step once, I step 10 times. So it's very simple. People want what they can't have. And, and let's say he's like, well, and you're like, okay, never mind. Right, you put it up there and you take it away. 
Some people want to play like, I don't know, maybe, whatever. If you hear that, just be like, oh, never mind. It's not for you. Never mind. Don't waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. Don't waste yours. It's no, no big deal, bro. I got you. But just because someone says no, just because you're rejected, and this goes in anything in life, just because you're rejected in this business, in relationships, and whatever, if you're rejected at all for anything, that, that isn't, one, that doesn't mean it's a no definitely. That, 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 and that doesn't mean you got to get butthurt. And that doesn't mean you're not friends with that person. Right? So if you're saying no to the business, that, that's fine. Still be the friend. And they're going to watch you no matter what on your Facebook, on your Instagram, on your Twitter. They're going to watch your success, right? And they're going to watch it happen. It's not a big deal. And, and, and that goes for anything. Just, just play it out. Don't stop talking to them. Don't disown them as a friend or a family member, right? Uh, this is very simple, guys. This is a people-building business. People are all about themselves. You have to make people feel good. You have to make people feel great. Your goal is if someone doesn't do this or not, they say no, they change their mind, if they flake out or, 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 or quit, you make them feel good no matter what, Right? You want to make them feel good because chances are their boss doesn't make them feel good. Their, their, their job in general doesn't make them feel good. Their school doesn't make them feel good. Their home doesn't make them feel good. You have to be that one thing in their life that makes them feel good, that makes them feel special, that makes them feel important, that makes them feel wanted. Right? And when you do that, your value as a person will increase. So that being said, I'm going to post a couple more videos here in a little bit. Um, you guys, get back to the person who invited you to this video. Maybe I invited you to this video. Maybe you stumbled upon it by accident. But the biggest thing is I don't believe in accidents or chances or luck. Uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. You're not seeing this um, as some kind of fluke. You're seeing this because there's purpose behind it. And you can choose to ignore that. You can choose to go with it and make it happen. But either way, this movement, what we're doing in this industry is blowing up. This, this, this industry makes more money in one year than the NFL, the NHL, all national sports combined. This industry produces the most millionaires in the world, only second to professional athletes. So you have an opportunity at greatness. You have an opportunity to make it happen. You have an opportunity to retire your parents, to live the life that you really want to live, that you don't have to go to college for, that you don't have to, you know, do A, B, and C for, that you don't have to um, have a boss for, that you don't have to do all these other things that we're told you have to do to reach success, right? You don't have to do all those things. And it's very simple. You do what people do. You say what they say. You're going to get what they have, right? So if you follow people who have what you want, you're going to get it. You're going to get it, right? So with that being said, you guys stay tuned for some more videos. Clint Harris, guys, get started, get fired up, get jacked up. Let's get wealthy. Let's change the world one day at a time. Let's make it happen. All right. God bless.